for a nightmare. Your three-year-old and her father are shot to death. Somebody paid $300,000 to bail out the accused murderer, and then nobody tells you Kevin Lawless was released. So, three-year-old Trinity Randolph was laid to rest, only for her family to still be searching for answers as to who took her life so young. Tonight, Metro Police made a second arrest in this case. Jesse Cohen has been following these late-breaking developments. Remembers she when she got the phone call. Get to Becky's house now. For what? What happened? Girl, they said two bodies in there. I shot. One neighbor's reaction after hearing gunshots. Detectives say she saw a man fleeing from Brandon Waddle's home in a black Chrysler 200. Referring to Cameron Pugh, a juvenile who Gold Daniel says was killed on August 25th, 2016. Yeah, and I said it on live. This shows the two interacted before Waddles and his three-year-old daughter, Trinity Randolph, was murdered. I was getting directions to pick the girl, some, some girl up or something like that was going to pick somebody up. That's what the whole thing was, to pick somebody up. After Lawless got out the car, Ross says he waited outside on Kaler Avenue in his black Chrysler 200. According to street cameras, Lawless hopped back inside the car 15 seconds later. It was like, come on, let's go. Great. She's just not going or something like that. And we just There's leave. nobody who believes everything you said. You clearly lied any number of times. And um, while you're on probation, um, while you're in this courtroom, while it's in my presence, um, I can't ignore that. Alternate juror was brought in, and deliberation started up again for about two to two and a half hours. And then that's when the jury finally made their verdict. Now, the hey, damn. We're gonna have to make a stop. You see that? Smiley faces on this damn face. You see that? That smiley face that's on this damn face. He killed a man and the man child. You see that fucking smiley face on his face? I just wanna punch him right in this shit. Look at the face of a murderer. There's a lot of clowns, a lot of demons that's locked up right now. Look at him, smiling with his fucking gap teeth. I hope one of the homies get a hold of him. I don't know what the drama and the beef was about between him and the guy that got killed. But he killed a little girl, three-year-old girl. I hope when the homies get to him, they smash his damn face in. Child killer. He should not be able to walk walk around in there comfortable. Look at him. Face of disgust. Look like a straight up demon. I'll be home soon. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. You in that mug. And I hope the homies take care of you. Damn. We're going to have to make a stop out Louisville, Kentucky, family. A report had came out that only two hours after being sentenced to life twice, a man went to social media and tell his 7,000 followers that he'll be home soon. Apparently, he was held responsible for a three-year-old girl that was laid to rest and also her 21-year-old dad. But according to his five-day trial, not only is he a rapper and also affiliated to the rapper ESCG, who is a household name out of Louisville, Kentucky, it seems as if though, with the death of loved ones from each respected neighborhoods and people antagonizing each other on social media, this all led to one another to having a domino effect. Why do us black people do this shit to our Why? Why? Why do black people do this shit? I'm not, I'm not you know what, let, let, me, let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. Cause it's not black people, it's the niggas. Why the niggas gotta do this shit? Nigga shit, right? When somebody dies in a horrific way, and then the daughter get killed also, and then you wanna make a diss song? These demons, the solution, y'all wanna know what the solution is to black on black crime? Get rid of all the niggas. Get rid of them. Get rid of all the trifling, real niggas. Fam, we're going to cover this one. But first, I got to remind y'all, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, 
make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to jump right to it. On September 23rd, 2022, reports had came out that the man who was held responsible for a three-year-old girl who was laid to rest had went to social media only hours after his sentencing. But after doing my research, it seemed as if though this case happened in 2020, which we later going to discuss. But also, we got to discuss some ongoing feuds between the two, the victim and the suspect. Look at that beautiful little girl. I don't know what the beef was between him and him, but that little girl had no business being involved in that. No business. No business. I hate that, man. I hate that that had to happen to her. I hate that that had to happen to her, man. Just sickening. You know what? I just, I just be feeling like, I just be feeling like, uh, I can't even make this video, y'all. Y'all hit that like button, hit that follow button. Um, subscribe to this guy also, because without him, I wouldn't even know about this. Uh, the family, subscribe to that man. I, it's just sick, man. Just sick. I'm out, y'all.